How are we doing folks? Right, no camping tonight. I'm going to do a wee, wee review on my new winter uh, camping setup or sleeping setup. Uh, so I've got a couple of new kind of bits of kit. Got a new sleeping pad which is the, the Climate Insulated Static V Recon. So I'm looking forward to using this. Uh, we want to upgrade my sleeping system for the winter for a wee while so we'll get this out and kind of show you what it's like go through the kind of specs and that all that as well as that you might have seen this but i've got a new sleeping bag the leviathan uh, 900 so four season sleeping bag we'll get that out as well show you what it looks like but looking forward to using all this new gear uh, should keep me warm so we'll start off the sleep mat which is the climate insulated static v recon so this gets a good write up got quite a good deal on this shop about online uh, you'll be able to pick one up for a reasonable price definitely an upgrade for the, the sleep mats i've had previously so i'm looking forward to using it so let's get it out of the bag Right, it's got one way to inflate the system, so it basically kind of flips around like that, so you can see that kind of quite clearly. So obviously when you go to deflate it, you just pop that round. So, first things first, we'll see how many blows it takes to basically blow the thing up. So, let's go on with it. Right. 10, 10 breaths or 10 blows, so that's that kind of set up. So let's go through the kind of specs of it. Looks a good mat, looks a look, I really am looking forward to using this. So, spec wise, right, comes in at uh, 24 ounces or 680 grams. Uh, thickness wise, 2.5 inches or 6 centimetres uh, 72 by 23 inches or 183 by 58 centimetres It's a 4 season sleeping pad It's got an R value of 4.4 Ideal for backpacking, car tent and camping Definitely a cold weather sleeping pad so should be good right it's made a rugged 750 polyester fabric raised v chambers right so maximum loft and warmth so you can see there the v, v chambers down the middle it's also the way it's designed some folk have what bother falling off the edge of their mats Right, let's get this kind of section down there, kind of both sides to stop you doing that. Right, well, the side rails, what it says, makes it easier to stay on the pad throughout the night. Right, you can also get a climate electric pump and rapid air pump for it as well. I've, I've no bothered with that, I'll just blow it up. Right, there's also a patch and a stuffed sack included, so that's basically the stuffed sack there. But I do like to look at it, so I'll, I'll put it out on the ground and I'll kind of give you a better idea of what it looks like. Right, so you can see the side slats and the, the V design. Definitely looks a decent mat. Right, So, comfort wise, I oh, can't tell a lie, very nice, it's definitely comfy, you can feel it almost kind of, kind of shapes into your back, I can even actually, I know I'm just in the house, but I can actually feel the, the kind of, kind of heat, feel the heat reflecting off it, so, 
Looking forward to using this. But definitely, and hopefully I won't rub off it the way it's designed. But I must admit, yeah, very comfy. So we'll all be getting out uh, either tonight or tomorrow night to test it out in the, the wild, wet, cold weather. But that's enough about the sleeping pad. Let's check out the the new sleeping bag as well. Before we do that though, uh, we'll just deflate it. So, like I say, before we check out the sleeping bag, uh, we'll deflate it. So, very easy. It's just a case of put that down. And then it's just a case of getting the air out of it. That deflates it. So, quite a neat way of design that. I quite like that. Quite kind of different from your normal kind of pads. Right, all deflated, nice and easy. It's not as if you've got to spend a lot of time. Some of these mats, you have a bit of difficulty deflating them, but that was pretty easy. So, back in the bag, or the carry sack, whatever you want to call it. Nice wee drawstring on it as well. So, Ideal, and that's the size it packs down to. So, small enough. Right, so, let's say that's the climate insulated static V D con. So, we'll get it, we'll get it tested this weekend just to give you an this, this video is just to give you an idea of my new sleep system, winter sleep system. So, I'll put that down. Next up. The Leviathan, the OEX Four Season Leviathan uh, sleeping bag. Right, so hydrophobic, it's got a comfort rate and a minus nine limit, minus 16, uh, extreme minus 38. Right, it's 1374 grams. Lengthwise. 226 by 78 and tiers 217 by 75 so it's a 600 FP down sleeping bag so, what's it like? any more details? yep and it's duck down features wise eh, we'll go through that once we get it out but let's get it out of the bag well let's show you what's in the bag so, you get a stuff sack, you get this big, bigger bag, obviously, because it's not, what they say is, you shouldn't really have it stuffed in the stuff sack the whole time, so they, they give you this extra bag, so you, when you get home, you can, you can basically hang it up, and it's not compressing all the duck down all the time. So, I have used this a couple of times, so it is a, a nice warm bag, but it is really warm. And we're doing some great deals on it just now. Really, uh, really good deals for half price. Less, I actually did it for less than half price. But we'll get it out and I'll show you what I mean. Give you a better kind of look at it. So, this is that obviously out of the bag. Really is. Nice bag. I must admit, I like it. So let's take a wee look round about it. So you've got the baffle construction with the internal uh, wind and net baffles. So all round about it, so you can pick that up there. But it's got the, the toggles as well, you can obviously pull it tight round about you. It's got we can have velcro section here at the corner uh, it's also got inner pockets it's got the anti-snag zipper ultra comfort lining just 
that to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, it's 900 ga grams of duck down. Right, it's also got the wee, I've mentioned about the pocket, it's got a wee pocket up there, so ideal for chucking your keys in or your, your phone or whatever. Right, we can see, definitely, looks a nice, a nice warm bag. So it's actually got the two toggles, uh, one for the kind of inner neck baffle, and then one for the kind of outer section as well. But definitely, nice warm bag. So, hopefully that gives you a better idea of my new winter sleeping system. What we'll do, we'll get it into the bag, see how small it packs down to. Boom. Right, what's the matter for a support season bag? Packs down pretty neat and compact. I could probably actually get it even smaller than that. So, ideal if you're going a, a big hike or whatever. Quite good wee toggles, as you'll see. I don't know if you them down. But that's basically the size it's kind of packed down to. So, that plus that, that's going to go in your bag, no bother. So, I'm quite impressed with the two of them. Like I say, I've used, uh, I've used the sleeping bag two or three times already. And it's definitely, it's been warm, it's supposed to be quite wild this weekend. It was wild last weekend as well, but uh, I think the temperatures are starting to drop now. I'm looking forward to what, proper winter camping, but that's a sleeping bag, that's an art. So, just a wee short video, just to show you my new winter sleeping system. So, out the weekend, we'll get it tested out, the whole thing, together. So I'll do a wee review on that, obviously that'll be more a camping video, but that's my sleeping system. Not just for the weekend, but this winter, I don't think it'll be cold. So, as ever, like the wee video, thanks for watching, give it a wee thumbs up, uh, give it a subscribe, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit the wee bell for future notifications. Thanks for watching folks, catch you in the next one.